is Connie with Happy to Plan Mom, and we're doing our Halloween spread, yay, in my mini Happy Planner for the week of October 29th through November the 4th, and y'all, I'm so excited about this spread, it's so much fun. This washi right here is from the Seasonal Recollections box from Michaels, and then we're using the Happy Memory Keeping book right there that you see. And also this Happy Memory Keeping book. Um, and probably some from the seasonal as well because I just love the seasonal stickers they have in there. So first off, we're going to cover up this like peachy color that's in this planner. Ugh. So going to use this bat, this orange and black bat washi right down the middle. We'll lay that down and cut it off. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful. So it wasn't quite long enough or wide enough, so I'm going to go ahead and use this black and white striped washi just to cover up the additional sides. And yes, I do see that I'm covering up some of the days over on the right hand page. I'm absolutely fine with that because I think this washi looks so, so good. I'm like just crazy about how this turned out. I love it, love it. I think that's the first time I've doubled up a washi in the middle before, but anyway. So now we're going to lay down this Happy Halloween washi with the skull. I'm not a big skull fan, but I just love the Happy Halloween. So we'll just kind of put that down right there. We're going to put it on two places on the left-hand side and one place on the right. I just don't, didn't want this spread to be too washi heavy because I knew, well, I mean, I know it's got a lot of washi, but just in the, on the actual, you know, pages going horizontal. Uh, so we got that, and then we got the pumpkin washi at the bottom just to cover up that little notes part right there. And now we're going to put our Happy Halloween sticker. And this sticker supposedly is for the Big Happy Planner um, because that's what all the Happy Memory Keeping books are for. But as you can see, it fits wonderfully right there. I love this so, so much. Then we're going to put another little, well, I'd say another one because I used one in my Erin Condred right there at the top. And then this beautiful little sticker right here from Little Annabelle's Plans. This is her little squad, and it's so cute. They're all dressed up, ready to go trick-or-treating. Um, and that did come from her Facebook group. Okay, and then we'll put our little skull and cry. I know. I was just trying to make it look really Halloween-y, so the skull and crossbones, the um, ghost on Thursday, our little jack-o'-lantern face on Saturday and our scary screechy cat <laughs> on Tuesday. Now, as you can see, I'm putting tonight stickers on Tuesday and Friday. That's really not for tonight. I just thought that kind of brought more to the spread. That's just to mark off things I have to do for that day, for those two days. And then also our little jack-o'-lantern flag for Sunday. Man, y'all, this spread came together quick. Y'all could tell how excited I was for this. Um, so we're also going to take this trick-or-treat sticker and put it on Wednesday. We don't have a lot of space, so I'm just going to cut it and put it flush against the side. Really, really love how that turned out because we are going trick-or-treating with the girls that night. Okay, now we're going to put some little bats flying around because, you know, we got the bats washy in the middle. So we want to put a few bats flying around the page. So we put some right up there at the top of Monday. And we're also going to put one flying right here on the corner of Sunday. There we go. Beautiful. I love this. And a little boo for our ghost up there. Just to put a little, add a little color with him since he's not, he's not very colorful, is he? Okay, so we're going to put this star and this arrow, to, and that is going to be for gymnastics and library. We're just going to use that, those two things to notate, and I will fill them in when I do the after the pen. Okay, y'all, we're done. I'm, I went ahead and punched them out off camera, our center parts for the holes. We're going to go ahead and lay it back put them back on the disc. I just think this looks great. I'm so excited about this spread. I cannot wait to use it. But thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas of things you can do for your Halloween spread. I hope you have a happy Halloween. And please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And guess what? I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.